like it at all. I was so stunned by they're just doing the research for the show. You know, obviously Kim Kardashian yeah. been wearing it. Uh, uh, Jessica Alba had uh, you know, pictures of her and her waist trainer. And the crazy thing about this is, you know, you know Lisa, my wife. She comes out and visits sure, you whenever she's sure. here. So, so Lisa read the script. She reads all the scripts. And before I could even tape the show, she already ordered one for herself. Oh <gasps> no way! It's so appealing that you could look like that. That even, you don't even pay attention to the potential things that might be happening inside of you. But is it appealing? Because when I see that, I'm not exactly going People for that look. People sometimes want to look like a Barbie doll, apparently. Yeah. Ooh, well, like that, a that, little that, much. We have a woman actually on the show who wants to literally be like a cartoon character. Her name is Pixie. Yeah. And she walks out with her waist really squeezed in. Ooh. And this is, there oh, she is. is. Her? Yeah, I mean, she squeezed it to all kinds of places. Wow. I mean, this but, is actually <laughs> nothing new. It dates back to like the Victorian era when women were wearing corsets. But this is even more, more severe. This is more dramatic. All right, but so the question does is, it work? Well, why? It, 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 does, it, does it make you look different? Yes, but the reason it's doing it is an unhealthy one. It's literally reshaping your skeletal oh structure. Gosh, You're supposed to have bones protecting your key organs, right? right. The reason like your, your rib ribs. cage goes so low, it's protect your kidneys, your liver, your spleen, organs that if they're injured can be life-threatening. Mm -hmm. And so some people are having their ribs actually removed, oh, which yeah. I really don't think you should do. These waist trainers bend your ribs, crush them so they stay in a new place forever. That's the idea. However, they can also flip, you know, it could theoretically rotate your uterus, which could affect fertility. There are all kinds of things that Yeah, but who you cares about that yeah. when I look good? Come exactly, on. But, but if you look good. Um, yeah. How long does it take to achieve, I guess, whatever result you're going for. Well, the w women who wear these, these waist trainers, corsets, which is yeah. really what they are, will wear them 24 hours a day frequently. They wear them all night long, and they wear them for weeks and months on end. Don't they know just instinctively that wearing it 24 hours is bad? I would think so, but I, remember those pictures when we were kids, we'd look at National Geographic, uh -huh. and you'd have yep. women with these neck trainers, they yeah. have little rings, and right. they stretch yeah. their necks out. Uh, I think Maria Kupan mentioned the foot binding. Is foot bindings in, in, the, in Asian countries were sometimes. Mm -hmm. I, and we've done crazy things, especially to our women, mm -hmm. in, in the pursuit of beauty, and I yeah. think this is an example in modern America where we're trying to do the same thing, believing that there's no downside. But listen, your body's supposed to look the way it looks, and this is the part that really gets me. Men want the women the way the women look. We yes. don't like well, it's not us. cartoon characters. You're right, but you know <laughs> who you have to get to is you've got to get to the Kim Kardashians and the Kim Zolziaks and the housewives who are Kim putting Zolzi. this out there on Instagram and whatnot because they're the ones influencing everyone thinking that this is the way to look. Or we get other folks yeah, but, but who, who me, think that this is something you. fundamentally wrong here. Let yeah. me stop you. Your wife, who's a very intelligent Smart. woman and she lives with a doctor. Did you throw it out? I, well, you know how I found <laughs> out actually? Crazy. I found out two nights ago. We're getting ready to go to the Emmys. And she's got this weird contraption on, and I couldn't figure out what it was. And she's asking me if she can see it through her dress. She's gonna kill me for saying this. Yeah. Uh -oh. So I, so I, I said, well, uh, yeah, I can see it. Looks like you got like a corset on. She goes, oh, darn it, it's one of those waist trainers. And I said, when'd you get that? She says, well, I read the script to the show. I said, Are you oh, kidding no. me? About the danger. It wasn't about an advertorial. I wasn't oh trying to get people gosh. to use it. See? <laughs> okay. That's but funny. also, this woman who comes out, Pixie, is that her name? Yes. Yeah. All right, Pixie. Pixie. So Pixie comes out, and you look at her, you know, she's got a great body to begin with. Right? It's not like she's terribly obese. She's she's really she's looking good to begin with. That was the core of the conversation. Of course, I taped the show. You'll, you'll, yes. you'll see it. But I, I, I wasn't trying to criticize her. Obviously, she's doing this because she feels inadequate the way she already looks. Mm -hmm. And the reality is she's a beautiful woman already. Yes. So if you don't think you're adequate, what if you actually had a few extra pounds because you just had a baby and want to shape yourself back up again? But you're dealing with other issues there. Exactly. Yeah. So Maybe it's not necessarily to get that womanly figure. It's to just like make it as small as possible. That's the ultimate goal here. It's not about having a waist. Some women want to have a waist. Yeah. And In theory, if it was done correctly, the purpose is to have the waist. It will be used, for example, so after childbirth. Mm -hmm. But when women continue to cinch down, because once you get yourself to 26 inches, yeah. you go to 24 inches, and eventually, mm -hmm. you know, you get both your fingers around a woman's waist, which is not how it's supposed to work. Right, right. And that's a severe version. Uh, we have something for Hold you here. You mentioned the Emmys. Yeah. We have something for you. Oh, right. Wait, am I? This is uh, it's oh, a, it's very, very heavy. Yeah, that's, oh. that's, that's <laughs> we'd like to present you. Oh my gosh. Hold on, it's Open right the there. Thing, will you please? Da -da -da. Oh, oh, a Fox Emmy. Oh no, this is the real Don't deal. Break the real deal. Don't break it. Ow. Don't break it. Don't break. By the way, it looks like Emmy has been doing waist training. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. Right. There you go.
this, it's like a 20 Dr. Inch Oz, race. we'd like to present this to you. Congratulations. I know, well, I, Congratulations. I, I, I'm so honored, Steve, okay. especially coming from you. The uh, I, I want to just thank the Academy. Uh, <laughs> don't do the whole speech, please. Do wow. Not. Daytime Emmy. Congrats. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, the, the, the big honor, and of course, this is, and I really do treasure uh, the fact that our colleagues value the effort we put into our shows. I know how hard everyone mm -hmm. works at this, but the real honor was watching my daughter win the Emmy also. Oh, because oh, we were competing, yeah. that's right, that's right, and yeah. the, we had a bet on, a little inside <laughs> bet, that if I won, she'd have to do 30 burpees, and if she won, then I'd have to eat this crazy pudding she makes that has a thousand calories of scoop in it. So uh, we went out there, and she won one of the Emmys, and, I, I, and she won Best Show, I won Best Host. And so now the question is, do we both have to pay each other off, or does neither one pay off? I think it's a wash. Yeah, I think, you think? it's a wash. I'll tell you I what, after eating yeah. that, that uh, pudding, you will burp 30 times. <laughs> does that count? Yeah, I tell you, I don't, I, it is. And, and I was with Jimmy Kimmel last night, and Jimmy said, well, that sounds like a prize to me. I take yeah. the pudding every That's, time. I'm so thinking yeah. a Roxy would, like, kill for that. I would kill for that. Yes. But for that I do want to talk about Jimmy Kimmel. We have time, right? <laughs> no, Why we don't, you, but We don't sure, have go time? Ahead. Oh. Oh, I wish we did. Stuck your it would explain why, why I stuck why my I finger like in your yeah. ear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why, yes, right. why is, did you do that? He is addicted to eargasms. He takes Q-tips and he plays with his inside of his ear. And we don't, of course, they, all... Because some people like the feeling, right? They like the feeling. Yeah. In there. Literally, it's a very erotic spot. Yeah. But the crazy thing, real quickly, is ear wax is really sweat that got thick to protect their ears. It'll come up by itself. When you push it in with a, with a Q-tip, you're actually the front-end loading muzzle gun. Yeah. You're cruising, and you can pierce your eardrum, which he's done to himself. Yes. So I had... Guillermo and me practicing his ears. Uh -huh. the, the, your fingers are shaped this size. They're the perfect size and shape for your ears. To protect. So when you get out so of the shower, is, oh, okay. yeah, put your T-shirt or uh, put Kleenex your and go over your ears like this. That's it, all. It's yeah. safe. You know, I actually brought then, something. Oh. Oh, like this. Oh, my God. You go like this. <laughs> and tell me if you like this. Yeah, and, let me get this out. Is this? Okay. What, if, this, if he has an I orgasm, guess we don't I'm going to be honest. This set. Oh, what? he's moaning. No! You oh, doctor, it. doctor, doctor. Oh, stop it. <laughs> next you know, time, next I time, wish since we, you have Lisa do it, I wish we had much had better. Time. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you ran out of time. You know what? I'm, I'm taking this back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding on to this. Thank you so much. I love you guys. I love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. <laughs> Weekdays at 2 o'clock right here on Fox. So Never a dull moment. All right, coming up a uh, little How much house can you buy?